Welcome back guys, so we are back with another Icon SBC Solutions video, this was the week 4, uh, the reason 1. I'm sorry about being a bit late, uh, I think I'm like uh, 3 days late because there was a lot of uh, network issues and login issues and all that. Uh, the game just uh, wasn't smooth for me, that is why, I mean it was taking too much time for loading. Today it's working fine, that's how I'm able to make the video today. Of course, uh, it should be kind of easy this week. I had told you like, guys in previous weeks, like we can always prepare and we can do that by buying players from leagues that haven't come in the SBCs yet. Now there is only like two or three leagues, I think, that hasn't come in SBCs. But yeah, from next week, it'll be even uh, different. So yeah, you need uh, MBS Pro League and rest of the world and then two players just to fill in mbs pro league uh, rest of the world uh, kind of straightforward and easy ones uh, only one seemed a bit difficult for me not difficult but yeah expensive other ones were uh, not a big deal this week i would say okay none of the skill boosts that i actually use unfortunately but yeah that happens half the time this one again like you guys already know now same requirements just a bit more higher overall is required so we threw him in uh, he's again from mbs pro league and we had bought these cards like uh, super cheap when the player of the month tournament was going on Again, uh, Resolve World and MBS Pro League. Then I threw in uh, this guy just to get the overall enough so that I don't have to train the goals. This season, training cost is a bit too much. It's, uh, it's easier to use higher rated uh, cheap cards. This one is decent. Uh, we got 40 counter and 20 second striker. That's always using no holding, but yeah, at least uh, something we use. So that was uh, pretty easy and straightforward. Again, uh, like I said, leaks that we haven't been uh, had yet. RSL, uh, again, this is the guy. I, I actually packed him from the event and I had bought one more copy of him because we know normally we need two copies uh, for two SBCs. And again, NOS, this one should not be difficult at all, Liga NOS, because there's like so many players with high overall as well from that one. He was 78, I trained him up to 79. Okay. Actually, I think I trained the wrong one, so I put back the 78. That much is enough uh, here. Again, submit. Pretty easy, actually. By now we already know what the what it was going on, but next week onwards it may be a bit different because we kind of uh, don't know if they're going to follow the same pattern or if they if they make any different pattern or something that we don't know yet. I mean they could do for sure, but hopefully next week we will come to know what pattern they're going to follow for the next month as well, and of course uh, icons will new icons will come as well this one again uh, for rsl i use the same player and this guy for uh, a dvz this one uh, I ever, again i bought him for cheap when he was in the event uh, that seems to be the way to go uh, now i need okay i need one more uh, player from liga nos now i remember why i trained up uh, that player yes okay i got him now another one that's completed. I'm making it kind of quicker now because again less uh, explanations are needed this time around I think because we are, it's a fourth video of the same series. But yeah I'm looking forward to next week. This week there hasn't been much profits or anything from investments because again everybody knew what was going to come so everybody invested. Next week could be interesting though but it is super difficult to keep up with these SBCs and the hazard lineup challenges and all that we need uh, some supply to be frank like top transfers or picnic was we need some supply 
these two SBCs, the legacy point SBC is named as other. These are the difficult ones because some of these leagues doesn't have any elites and if they have, they are like super costly. One of these, I think the elite uh, Serian, they have an 81 overall center back, but he is like 1, 1.1, 1.3 million coins. That's a super costly. Here again, I trained up a couple of those uh, that Austin and Wolf, both are 73 rated and Hansen is uh, 74. I trained up all three of them. Uh, total of seven overall points. I trained those 73s to 76 and the 74 to 75. So that I can avoid using another 83. Again here, uh, Fisher is... Uh, Fisher, there's another 83 from the same league as uh, the three of Superliga. Then Innocent, again all these guys are super costly but uh, thankfully we purchased most of them beforehand. Otherwise guys, uh, I would even suggest if you guys don't have too much coin, I would suggest skipping this particular SBC. These two SBCs, the other SBCs for legacy points because again there is going to be SBCs next month. I mean next month means next week onwards and we need coins we need resources for doing those as well if i wasn't a youtuber i would probably not do this here we actually need only uh, six players and this is the other guy uh, i told you guys about uh, nelson thankfully they were in the europa event so he got a couple of cards in the same team and same league uh, those are the 83s but again they're costly and I bought them through bidding because uh, buy now was too costly so I took some time and did bidding and here if I hadn't thrown in Augustine 86 rated then I would have had to train Innocent up to 83 and that training seemed costlier than the price of Augustine that's why I threw him in and if you because see you only need 6 minimum players but you can add more players if you want you can even add uh, say throw in another 87 rated then you don't have to train those gold cards like wolf grand quest and hansen to 82s instead you can train them to 80 and train them three of them to 80 and you throw in an 87 rated card a random 87 rated card that would be probably cheaper of course here we go and guys you know like i was saying we are not getting much of a player supply right now so doing these icon SBCs next week uh, onwards could be even more difficult. This one like uh, this one like I was probably saying for about two or three weeks now that we will have one of these with attackers and chemistry and we got that one finally. Again this guy is one of the cheapest available right now so I just threw him in and I already had this. 86 rated left wing from MLS it doesn't have to be from like uh, these same ones but you can choose I even had the same way from German league striker and left wing there are a plenty of choices and then throw in them the thing is even though it's 78 overall team we need a couple of elites then only we get the overall right of course you may think that why throw in an 86 or 84 uh, isn't it better to use 80s of course it may be but the thing is right now most of those 80s cost more than these program players that are rated more and of course we need them in position as well so again uh, that's uh, even trickier the other one is easier uh, there is no position you just need more chemistry but no position restriction so that one is easier this one is kind of easy, all it needs is, uh, doesn't have to be in position, 8 attackers and then you only need 20 minimum chemistry. And I got like uh, 70, those 3 any of you could easily get like Paco, Enesri and Braithwaite. Uh, they are from the recent event top transfer, they were like uh, super cheap as well. Or Green and Boyle from the St. Patrick's Day as well, these are the ones I could find cheap in the market. That is why instead of uh, 20 chemistry, I ended up using 70, but it's still the cheapest because 88 rated, uh, you can find many attackers that are like super cheap. Oh, the skill boost is slowly piling up, but at this level, even improving them, it takes a lot of coins and 
right now yeah like i was saying we are not having much of uh, useful events when it comes to coins and player supply and the other thing is everyone would know about the corona virus covid 19 and even es staff are work doing like work from home so of course it would be even more difficult for them to fix things uh, and do things faster so yeah we may be in, a, in for a slow bit of time this one again uh, super easy a couple of mls players couple of liga mx players and a total of six uh, minimum players and these mls ones are like uh, these are like the cheapest elites you can find in the market right now so i just threw them in and it's just super easy then the uh, other league ones i just use cheap golds So one more as we see left and that would mean that we have completed every icon as we see for the first four weeks. Okay, again here a couple of the MLS players I use Vermeer and Polito and then for Liga MX I used uh, this guy and this guy. Again these two are uh, kind of cheap only use them and uh, then to get a six threw him in Braithwaite and uh, another player from this week's uh, team of the week the global team of the week okay and yeah i haven't completed hazard ones yet because uh, they look super expensive right now so guys we already claimed hernandez request uh, closes calls and we still have enough uh, to claim okay we still have enough to claim even over mars i think yes we could possibly claim over mars or even blank but i am not going to do it yet because again these are not enough one two three four icons and if i get one more five icons are not enough we need 11 icons at 93 overall for getting that uh, getting that amazing prime icon nesta oh actually we can even get uh mr rui or gerard even that kind of looks cool gerard if you get that can go directly it will be a 93 but the thing is he costs 700 icon points and using 700 icon points we could probably purchase much more of those cheaper icons hopefully i will take a decision uh, before the next week's icons come out so guys thanks for watching have fun and hope this video is helpful to you